All right. Oh yeah, I, I want y'all to start the show. You can start it up. I don't listen, have to start listen, it up. Always time. giving orders. Clint's always giving orders. Well, here we go. Here we motherfucking go. Man, if you guys are keeping up with us, last episode was fucking real. Had your man Big Dipper come through. I got a lot of. I got Dipper. a lot of. Good, we got a lot good of comments feedback on that. On that um, the rapper bear. Yeah, we got a lot of feedback on that. On that I sent it to two bo- dope boys. I sent it to um, allhiphop.com. Did not buy it now. Damn, <laughs> it's all good. Eh? I was I was told by a, by a listener that I should stop cutting everybody off. But we we're, 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 we're in a heated debate. Man, listen, we gonna cut each other <laughs> off once in a while. It's gonna happen, regardless. He's in a heated debate. What? What? Say what you got to nah, say. I'm just going to looking at this list real quick. That we should skip that. Cause yeah, Lenny doesn't have any. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking haves. about. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, you do. Got um, something, bro. Bro, bro. Damn. Yo, this week I've been having a rough week, man. Yeah, no, you've been real. Quiet I've been having a good week. Yeah, what's yeah? up? <laughs> I had, I've had a, I've had an okay week of no complaints. I'm ready to quit my job. Why? Wait, where are you I'm working ready at? To quit my job. Where are you working at? Some bullshit. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, no good. Did you get some pussy? Um, come on. I mean, that's, I'm not being serious. I mean, you got to be happy about something. I, that's that's like what? that should that should make your whole week. That's I, life. I fucked my girl today. That's uh. part of life. <laughs> Listen, whenever my girl puts it on if me... I, if I said that business out here, my girl would kill me. Listen, I can have no legs. I can oh, have my legs taken off right now. If my girl come <laughs> and ride me, I don't even care about them fucking <laughs> legs because I know I can still fuck. You're stupid. Yo. But yeah, uh, my week was pretty cool. I've been trying to get a lot of... Um, I'm still on my week. Let me talk. Oh, my bad. Excuse me. I've been trying to get a lot of people on the show. Been making some emails, sending some emails out. I got some replies back. I, I'm in talks of a lot of people. I'm not gonna say who, but a lot, a lot of people I've been talking to, trying to get them on this show. Hell yeah! You need to put them niggas in a group email. That'd the problem <laughs> is, can you CC me in the emails? No, man? no. The it has to be really. I'm, I'm. The problem is, it's so hard to get these people to fucking be organized. I'm I'm coming up with dates. They coming up with nothing. I'm like telling them about the show. They telling me nothing. It's like to get somebody to email you back. It's like oh my god, especially the rappers. Yeah, that's the worst. About you it. would think email would be the easiest way of. Um, no, you would think these people would would pay these people would really be on top of their shit. Manage, yeah. They getting paid. And shit, right? You would think these people are on top of their shit, and they're not. And it's not like they're doing anything because I see the niggas, the artists on Twitter. Tweeting, tweeting that they shit, need yeah. to that they need bookends and this and that. Oh wow! And it's and it's some it's bullshit. Slow like that. <laughs> Whack ass managers. It's Whack ass bullshit. Call no, but, them out. But you can't blame the, the artist. You can't blame the artist. I'm, That's I, all managers. Some, fault. but I'm yeah, been but direct contact PR, with some like, artists and they've been really slow on the hit back. Well, then they don't. They're just not professional. <laughs> they've just been really <laughs> slow. Need to work on, on their I don't know what they do. They take emails once a day. I don't. Maybe once a week or some shit. Maybe. I don't know. They may take a special you day should, just to check all their emails. You should I know do somebody that does But that. we got a lot of exciting people that, that are in the works. And we so have hopefully week, next yeah. week we'll have a good guest. But if not, I got to back up for that. And then the following week definitely we'll probably have a very, very extremely Yo, good which guest. week can I use for my person? I have somebody. What? For like interview. Um, just let me know. Put them in the calendar. We put them in the calendar. Then I, then oh, you got a calendar? I didn't even know that. Let me see that shit. Listen, we, <laughs> we got don't a- have a calendar. I just say, like he said, oh, well, like okay, we have, okay, okay, what is okay. his name? J- um, Jameer today. No, and- no, no. Jay Lorenzo. <laughs> That's, I got to ask. <laughs> see, this is what I got to ask him. This is my first question to him, but I'm not, I, I'll tell him when he comes because he got a lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> he's still got a couple of names. <laughs> he's a radio personality now. Yeah, but you Co-host. don't need three names. Well, whatever. We know his, I know his government name is Jameer Pond. I went to college with him, but whatever. Um, we'll figure it out. Well, I was about to say, Lenny, yeah, if you um got a person, just you got to speak now. Okay, you got to speak now so we could Word. mark it in the calendar. Hell yeah. Don't say it. We'll, we'll talk we'll about it. We'll pencil it in. You know, yeah, you but gotta, the thing is, I got to let the dude Exactly. Know, so that's what I'm okay. saying. So, so you need to check with him first. So let him know two weeks from now he can come on. Word. And so then let him select the day and then we'll so let you know. So next week we'll be, we'll be free or whatever is going on in then. Right, right. We'll Swanky. What I was about to say. How was your week? My week has been 
good outside of work. Okay. Um, but inside work, we haven't had power since um, last Saturday. So we've been running like light tower generators. And just yesterday, my boss comes to work and he, um, the owner actually, he buys a, a the biggest mobile generator you can think of. Like, like that would be like, you know, wholesome, I guess. Like, it's like so he brings this shit in. He's like powering. He's setting up the wires. He's setting anything up. And I'm watching. I'm like, okay. He set up his, his whole trailer. His whole trailer has power now. So I'm like, okay. So I said, what about the security booth? He says, uh, you guys can uh, sit in here. It doesn't matter. What? <laughs> so I'm like, wow. But but, it, but it's all good. It's all good. I, I, I don't mind. It's, it's much cleaner. It's fresher. It's, Hell you yeah. Got, you got sprays and shit. A big ass 42 inch plasma screen TV. But um, other than that, it's been freezing. I've been freezing my ass off at that fucking job. Hovering over heaters and shit, space heaters. But the and the and you only got the reason, golf cart though, you're chilling. Yeah, the only but the only reason he he bought the generator and hooked everything up is because he had a meeting this morning. For real? Yep. So had he not had the meeting, we would we would have been <laughs> fucked up. Like, <laughs> but um, other than that, Damn. um, my week was pretty good. I went to, I went to see nonstop when um Liam Nelson Neeson. Oh, with the plane? Yeah, with the plane. I want to see that. That's, it's it's yeah. a yo. There's a twist in it. They don't show it in the um, coming attractions, which was good because it had day. It would have been a fucking blow. But you know, some some um, trailers give it away. But um, definitely a good movie. If you haven't seen it, it's probably going to be out the theater soon. I'll check it out. But definitely check it out. Yeah, you know, movie I saw the other day, fucking Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, it's like the Wes Anderson movie. Yeah, yo, I seen the other that movie. Funny I as think fuck. I seen the other movie that he made before. Um, Last weekend, with the, um, I forgot who was in it. It was, it was a lot of people in it. Uh, the Royal Tom, Tenenbaums. What? The Royal Tenenbaums. I know that's another one you got big for. I have no idea. It's some shit Something with Boy Kingdom. Scouts. Oh, with Bill Murray and all of them. Yeah, okay, Bill Murray's yeah. in it. Edward with, Norton. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't know the name of that. I wanted to see was, that too. That shit was dope though. I love his cinematography though. Yeah. Like the way he it's, sets it's the mad spots weird. up. It's, it's like it's weird as fuck. If you notice on his movies, a lot of the like scenes are symmetrical. Yeah. A lot of scenes like you see both ends it's, and they have like one little odd thing and it's, it's a lot like of funny. Still, it's a lot of still camera work. Like, Hell yeah. There's no moving cameras mm -hmm. really. I like um in the new one, it's like this dude, he's like a connoisseur for a fucking uh a concierge, however you say that shit. In like oh, some yeah, hotel. In the hotel? The yeah. Yeah, I I seen and the commercial for it. It's mad fucking funny, dude. Yeah. There's so many characters. It's nah, the hilarious. other shit I, I think it's Kingdom Something uh, Kingdom Something, but that, uh, yeah, that my movie, sister told me about that. That movie is hilarious, though. Yeah? It really is. I like, got to see his movies, y'all. I remember seeing the Tenenbaums when I was younger. Yeah. And then I see this dude, Frank Ocean, putting mad references in his music and his outfits and shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I got to see this again and actually see what the meaning behind it was. Yeah, it looks dope. We'll I like the colorways. When is, it, when is it supposed to drop? What? The movie. It's not it already. already. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, both of them. This shit's hilarious. You got to peep that. It's like, it's, a, it's that awkward humor. No, it's I, so I, awkward. I it's like so that. Uh, what's the name of that but show? It's HBO. Funny as fuck. Curb your enthusiasm. Curb it's like that humor. Yeah. yeah, like that the dry. Adult, or the awkward. Adult. It's not. It's yeah. not like curb your enthusiasm that much. Though. Not that. It's not that. that it's some, it's awkward. Awkward. sort of like that. <laughs> nah. But it's it's weird. It's, it's weird like a mix fuck. between that and Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, that's how uh, I see it. That's that's a perfect way to describe it. Now I get it. That's a perfect way to describe it. But Lenny, how was your week, man? Yo, my shit's been smooth. Back in school, you know, hustling. Working on projects, cheer, yeah, watching you know, movies. Yeah, you know, he got a pimp business. Yeah. Um, expanding south. <laughs> Gator. <laughs> Gator. That's your, that's your pimp name? Gator? Gator? <laughs> Gator. With the fucking shoes. <clears throat> All white outfits. That's cool. With the Pharrell hat. All right, shit. <laughs> we got Ivan in the building. What up, Ivan? What up? Ivan? Ivan. Chris here. Y'all heard about Pharrell? Pharrell yeah, and, yo, that's and, a powerhouse. Um, and Adidas. Powerhouse, uh, Adidas. dude. Did you hear about Fish Nick Cannon? Dude, that's the Avengers. Fuck what happened Cannon. with Nick Cannon? I ain't trying to hear that. We're talking about Pharrell right now. That's more relevant. It's more relevant. <laughs> what happened with Nick Cannon? He Nothing did happened. A, he did a white face, um, a white face thing. No. You know, black face? He did white face. What's that? And he's pushing out. He's, he's, I, I, I assume... Attention to the media. I assume it's for this new album he's pushing out. It's called White People Music. Really? Yeah. And um, <laughs> he does this white face, completely white. He posted it on Instagram, and people are going crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? And he's like, um, he's like tweeting back, you know, going back and forth with everybody. And he's like, no one, no one got mad when they, when him and um, what's that comedian guy? There's a lot of them. He does a lot of impre- <laughs> so he, he does a lot of um, impersonations. He was on Wildin' Out with Nick Cannon. Okay. Funny guy. Very, I know what you're talking very, about. The Avery funniest Spears? black. Yeah. Crockett? Avery Crockett. Yeah. Avery Crockett. Avery Crockett. Him and, um, what's, it, what's the full name? Avion. 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 Yeah. Him and, him and Nick Cannon Avion. did a blackface video on YouTube years ago. But he's black. Right. And it, and it was saying that no one, he, he tweeted that. He tweeted a le- link to that video. And he was like, no one got mad when we did this. So why the fuck are you getting mad when I do whiteface? And he was he was holding interviews and shit. I guess in whiteface, but whatever. Whatever. But what? So Pharrell and I'm with um, yeah, Adidas. Yeah, he signed with Adidas. That's Pharrell another Adidas. fucking powerhouse with Adidas. That's Kanye. That's Nigo. That's Pharrell. Yoji Yamamoto. Rick Owens. Ralph Simmons. McNary. That's a lot of people. Fucking um, Why do you Jeremy know Scott. This? Yo, that's, that's mad Adidas. fashion hat. I, I don't even see you wearing Adidas. That's like He's the. About uh, to? That's like yo. Think of this. He's about it's to? like the Avengers of fashion, just with Adidas. Like all them superheroes in one house. Citizen, the dude who started really babe, the dude they're who gonna does steal your idea and make a commercial yeah because yeah. Avengers 2 is probably gonna come out then they're gonna have a commercial P- with yo them. think of that think of all the brands that were set off between those dudes they got uh, fucking Rob America? Simmons I wouldn't I wouldn't know that's hard <laughs> I don't know you're gonna label them who's Spider-Man I don't know wow I don't know is about Spider-Man this. in the Avengers that's hard no <laughs> nah hell no I was like wait what that's Marvel <laughs> But Wait, no, he, it's all the same shit, right? Of, wasn't he a part of the Avengers at one point? No, never. Nah, that's In not even Marvel. Somewhere. Is he Marvel? Yeah, he's Marvel. He's with the he was like fighting Wolverine at one time. Justice League is DC. Yeah. The Avengers is Marvel. I just remember him rivaling with Wolverine back in the day. Yo, the, sp- the cards. Yo, the new X Men? X Men? Yo, the movies yeah. are whack. Yo. The Those shit look whack. whack. Like, are you serious? Front, Those shits are whack. They don't even yeah. deliver, dude. Like they don't even put right. the characters properly. Like you look at Deadpool, that was yo Deadpool no shirt. Well, those are fucking, the old. Those are the old ones. But nah, like the man, latest that was one not was kind of tough though. That was weak. They're all weak. Um, the the latest, first class, yeah. First yeah. class was kind of tough. That, but this I, one is was, first class and and right them together. The, um, the past, like, the, it's um, weird. Some shit. It's, yo, when it's I still gonna be whack to me though. It's too confusing. It's too confusing. I feel like you're basing that off the trailer. Yeah, I could base a lot of things off the trailer. Like so I see, Marvel I is shitting on them. Marvel is the same company, bro. Oh well, <laughs> they're not doing it properly for X Men. <laughs> like what are you whatever. Saying? What about to say? <laughs> nah, Spider-Man. but they're not going. Spider Man looks corny. Nah, Spider-Man nah, the Spider Man look looks okay. That shit look hot. The old one looks better. I like the that old one better. Hot. I don't like the yo, old one. Better, the new Toby? Transformers look so weak. You're bugging, yo. The new Transformers is yo, all the way good. They did not Anything top the last bugging. one, dude. Yo, look you're at bugging. the last Transformers. The last, the last Transformers they had was a ass. badass chick. Okay. They had Shia LaBeouf. They still got a badass they had chick. Dope ass. Now they got nah, Mark the Wahlberg. Chick is whack. Mark Wahlberg. I can't take him seriously after Ted. Like come I see him on, as a joke right now. Come Are you serious? On, bro. You go come from on, fucking bro. smoking have with you a teddy bear to fighting monsters. No, like, did you see I mean, Pain and Games? Machines? Yeah, Pain and Games. You seen Pain I don't and even care to. I saw Ted. No, Pain and Games is a diverse. Is diverse amazing. Nah. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. I can't. Take it's it's funny. Pain and is a fucking dumbass. It's, it's a I saw the commercial. Yeah, it's based on a true Dude, I saw the commercial. I thought it was like another hoverboard commercial. Nah, it was real. I was like, yo, this is like we're getting trolled right now. Mark Wahlberg, like he's gonna pull out Ted and revive Transformers. Which which trailer did you see? The one with Mark Wahlberg. This this oh, this Vogue. Did you <laughs> see the know. short one or did you see like the back, the one with the backstory? The involved? corny one. Nah, you got to see the one with the backstory. If there's another one, it's corny too. Nah, yeah, they're both it. corny. That you're movie's corny. Yo, yo, they didn't top it, I'm telling you're you. Like, no, they did. they did. Like, that was his franchise. Like He owned that shit. How are you going to switch we'll up and go with Mark Wahlberg? We'll see. It looks like a regular Transformers movie, but we'll see if they top it. That shit's only behind Boston. Straight up. Like I seen his reality show too. You seen Mark Wahlberg's reality show? Nah. He got a reality show. What is it called? It's called The Wahlbergs. See, you can't they take have, him seriously. Nah, that's true. He got a TV Ill. show. He, because they, it's not him, it's his He's family. He's a Kardashian. It's his family's TV show. He's like, it's like Kardashian's kind of. But it's he all, can't. it has to do with with the Wahlbergs bar, which Mad is a burger Boston spot. Mad Boston people, right? It's a burger spot. They got the accent and shit? Yeah. Yo, a boot, a boot. A boot, a boot. <laughs> nah, you got to see Pain and Gain, bro. What's that about? I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell him to see that one. I mean, that is the most recent. But nah, but that's that's a good. It's Michael Bay. Like it's it's this it's With what Mark you're gonna Wahlberg? get. Yes, it's what you're gonna get on Transformers. Never. 
It's the, it's it's the a, same. It's a different character. It's the, no. I'm talking about the director. It's Michael Bay directing like same Pain sort of game. style acting. You're gonna. It's gonna be the same way Transformers is, but with Mark Wahlberg. There's a Hercules movie coming out with The Rock. I want to see Noah. Stupid. Noah. My mom seen it. Stupid. She's a Jehovah Witness. She said it was pretty cool. For real? Stupid. I like Wait, this. The, the story. I mean, who? I know the storyline, but who does? Huh? My bad. I just went back to The Rock. But what happened with The, the Rock? Rock? The Hercules? Rock is playing Hercules. Nah. Big brolic motherfucker. Another opportunity for him to take his shirt off. I don't know, rock. but the it's the, the trailer is corny as shit. Dude, I don't like the I rock see as an rock actor. And you like it? That? I think a scorpion like it? king. He's it doesn't pain. matter. If you like <laughs> he's in he's in um pain and gain too. He's a co star. Yeah, the rock is in pain I and gain too. I can't take them seriously. Yo, the and rock and Mark Wahlberg and the Michael like Yo, now they're gonna do Transformers. That is the not gonna be Shia a, LaBeouf. Listen, the reason why you have to see pain and gain, the rock is a cokehead. Yeah, he turns. He's a, co- a no, diesel he's a cokehead. A diesel, diesel cokehead. cokehead who went to church and got reformed and became a cokehead again. Wait, no, he went to church, beat the shit out of the priest, beat the shit priest, out the priest, and then ran, <laughs> and then <laughs> ran, found God. Did, didn't he's become, funny as shit in that yo, movie. He's funny as hell. He get his man. fucking big toe yo, shot off. Good. Michael Bay did his thing with them, <laughs> and I, I think he's gonna do his thing. Yo. Wait, and Monk, um, the guy who played Monk. Oh, hold on a second. Jay Lorenzo is calling me right now. Jameer. Jameer. You want to um, take a break and let me call him back? Or well, you want me we'll to just him. answer this live right now? No, don't answer it right now. All right. Just I'm send him a text. I'm going to call him in five minutes. Word. All right. All right. Yeah, I can't take that seriously. I'm can't not take, even going to. You got to see Pain and Game. Like, I'm not going to bother go see Transformers. Like, it's Mark Wahlberg. I Pete, can't take him seriously. See Pain and Game. I'm you telling got, you. No, can you, you got to show him. When we take a break, we're going to show him the. um. The, the long trailer? Yeah, the, the extended No, because he's, he's already talking. It's going to make you mad. I'm a Transformers head. You can't yeah, tell me that this shit's going to be fucking whack when I seen the whole thing. You'll be all right. You'll it doesn't see. matter. But let's go into this break. Okay. We got to get ready for this interview. Come on, Klimps. Klimps. Right. Wait, hold on. You getting a car? Is he coming? That's that's Krams? Jay Lorenzo. Okay, but what about your car? He what, hasn't, he hasn't you called doing? me. Can we do this right interview, please? I want to know what you're doing with your car. about to get an M5. He's about to get a BMW. It, it, it's if if everything checks out, he's gonna he's driving the car. It's daily driven, so we'll see what happens. I need I need a car that has no transmission or motor problems. I'm about to take that <laughs> shit on the south. Why you don't finance Bro- the Bronx River South? Because you it's have too, a job. I don't have enough to put down. Why don't you save your money? I had. I mean, how long is it gonna fucking t- save? I- Listen, why are you getting technical with this shit? <laughs> I'm just telling you what's the I, best thing I know what to do. I just I got this, I got the PA thing going on. It's uh-huh. a lot transferring back and forth. Yeah. I got to wait six months to transfer. Mm-hmm. It's just a bunch. Buy this a guy, car and PA. Right. I got to go there first and got to spend some time. I don't want to take off work. You then got I, that then, poop then the I can't outside. Save. Just leave it there. Give the tra- it to them plus the some transmission, money and you got a new car. The oh, transmission yeah. on my, my Give um, them the bullshit ass car you got outside. With some cash, with the you wheels, you get a brand new car. You walk out, you make your payments, and call it a day. And it's it sounds in Philly. good. That's it's what Major World told me when I got there, and they told me they can't help me. Not nah, because you in Philly. <laughs> Listen, man, go to the Major World of Philly, and now you. Right, I may you be driving in some new wheels Shit. come next week. We'll see, but um, yeah, man, come on, let's go to this break, man. All right, all right we'll be we'll take word. a break and we'll be back. Word, 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 word. Shout out to Twitter at underscore the. Sorry, at the underscore formalities on Twitter. This is Ivan, and you're listening to the formalities. Three little fuckboys stating their opinions and thoughts on music and popular culture. All right, be sure to tweet them, email them, comment on their iTunes, all right? Whether it's positive, negative, they need all the reviews they can get. Haters would be extra too. You guys are welcome. All right, this is The Formalities, theformalities.com. We're here with Jameer on the phone. What's up, Jameer? Yo, what up, y'all? What's, What's good? What's going on? The Formalities? What's popping, y'all? Not much, man. The same old. You know, it's your boy, okay. it's your boy Cram right here, man. You already know how we do. Cram season. <laughs> Where you at right now? Man, I'm in Jersey right now, you know, just chilling, trying to catch up on the basketball and everything. But, you know, it's a pleasure to be with y'all via phone, you know, checking in. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to be here, man. 
That's what's up. My, right. Wait, let me ask hold this on, question hold. first, please. Okay, okay, please. Go ahead. Is it what is is it Varnell Trill, Jameer Lorenzo, or Jameer Pond? <laughs> All right, well, it's, it's Jay Lorenzo. Okay. That's, that's the name. Varnell Trill is who I am. That's like my inner person. Okay. Like, y'all remember the, 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 the Martin episode where he was Varnell, where Varnell Hill was on there? No. No, yeah. I don't you don't remember that? Nah. I don't remember. I, I, my, my Martin See, y'all days niggas ain't no point on, on Martin? Come on, y'all got to be on Martin. Really, honestly, I never really watched that show. I always wanted to. Oh, You're bugging. Man. I'm slacking. It's I like need y'all to go watch Varnell Hill. And I, oh, you wait, know wait. I, I do know that show. Varnell Hill was Michael Dave. Um, Mike, what's his name? Tommy Davidson. Tommy Davidson. Okay. And he, and he, 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 stole, his, he stole his jokes or he whatever. Stole his oh, oh, I remember no. now. Now yeah. I remember you know what, what you're saying? talking you about. You feel? And Jodeci was on there. Yeah, yeah. And oh, then, right, right, on. right. So Varnell Trill, you know, because I, I definitely want to do the hosting thing and take it to another level on a whole nother Trill level. Okay. So that's kind of like my inner... That's my inner being right there, Von L. Okay. And Jameer, Jameer is, is, is me. Jameer is the, <laughs> the, the, the humble uh, guy that, 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 you know, you're just going to love. People but, love me. Where you, get La- where you get Lorenzo from, though? Now, most people think, you know, I made that up, but that's actually my middle name. I'm a Panamanian on my father's side. Okay, okay. Word, word, word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on my father's side. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You know, so I'm, uh, you know, that's where I got it from. That's my actual name. So, you know, I try to keep it as legit as possible. So, J for Jamea Lorenzo, and that's my middle name. That's how we doing, man. Okay. So, what should I put as your name on this episode? I have no idea. I would say, I would say, I would go with J Lorenzo. J Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Okay. That's how we gonna brand it, J Lorenzo. J Lorenzo. That's how we gonna brand it. Got the AKAs in there. AKA. All right, J Lorenzo. <laughs> AKA, yeah, you, you can, can do put, them all. AKA put, Varnell Trill. All right, I'll do AKA, them all. Forget it. No. The more <laughs> tags, the better. The Hell more yeah. tags, the better. All right. <laughs> That's how well, we doing it, man. Well, here, yo, Jay, listen, I've been following you on Instagram for quite some time since you yeah, got man. your Instagram. And, yo, when I see you post some of these clips or videos or whatever, I'm just, I'm, like, today and yesterday, and since I've hit you up about, you know, coming on the show, I've yeah. been, like, you know, stumbling upon, like, New stuff that I never knew you was into. Like, at first, I just figured you was a video producer at WBLS, and that was mm-hmm. it. I didn't know about right. the radio show. I didn't know about any of this stuff. And I'm following yeah. your, your Instagram is downright hilarious. I love I love what you're posting. Appreciate it, bro. Um, The interviews, the little clips, the small clips with a lot of people in hip-hop. I'm loving it. And I'm trying to yeah. show these guys, but... You know, they're, they're a little slow on the Instagram shit. But. Yeah, I'd be slacking on that. Okay. Yo, question though. What's the story behind the bottomless brunches? What's that Dude, about? You, you said the bottomless what? The brunches and like how it's illegal. Okay. All right. So so the bottomless brunches, right? There, there was a, apparently there was a law passed in New York, um, the state of New York, that bottomless brunches. Like, you, you can't have bottomless brunches anymore. What that means is that when you go to brunch, you know, shout out to all the thoughts, because thoughts love brunch, so <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the thoughts. That's the only reason why I fuck with brunch. I, wait, I'm sorry. Can I curse? I apologize. <laughs> no, nah, you can. Yeah, it's, 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 okay, all right, all right, all right. So that's the, that's the only reason why I mess with brunch, uh, you know, for, for the for the thoughts. So when you go to when you go to brunch, they have these things called, you know, bottomless drinks where as long as you sit at a table and have food on your plate and, and able to eat throughout the duration of brunch, you get like a drink. Maybe like. Is that like what, unlimited that? mimosas and shit? Unlimited mimosas. Right, 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 right. But they, you know, apparently they stopped it. But if you go to a couple places, a few places in New York, you know, they still do that. But that, that was a, um. That was a post I had put up, you know, to kill some of the thought dreams. Because thoughts <laughs> love brunch. <laughs> and, and look, when the thoughts got a hold of that story, it was like they, they cousin died. Everybody was like, Damn. no, <laughs> what are we going to do? And, you know, but, you know, uh, ladies, a couple of places still have them. So, you know, a few places in New York still have them. So keep, keep brunch alive. Keep brunch oh, alive. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what what brought you into radio? How did you get your start in radio? Like, what made you be want to become this person, this radio personality that you that you're becoming right now? I uh, I'll make a long story short. Basically, I, I fell in love with radio 
Um, I always been in love with radio, but I really fell in love with radio when I stopped doing stand up comedy. I used to do stand up comedy like throughout high school and the beginning of college. Uh, Cram, I don't know if you remember, but it was <laughs> there was this one show at Lincoln where uh, I performed, and you know they 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 booed me off the stage. Like wow. I'm talking about. Were, were you were you Jay Lorenzo or were you Jameer Pond at that time? <laughs> oh, I, I was just Jameer Pond then. I, I, I thought I and you know coming from coming from a New York City background. Um, I really thought like, you know, my ish didn't stink. I was doing clubs when I was at home, but when I got to Lincoln and what I had to realize is, is that black audience is different than white audience. Oh yeah. You right, know? Right. Yeah, oh yeah. But black people can't wait to boo you. They cannot wait. So, you know, I got on stage, I did my little thing <laughs> and I got booed. And I got booed bad, but like I ran off the stage, like it, it was bad. It was it was really bad. But I always remember because I was like, even after that, still going on stage and still doing my thing. But I kind of lost my love for it because it felt like a job. Um, but when I was able to, you know, be a guest on radio shows and you know be be like fillings, I felt more comfortable because I could speak freely. It didn't feel forced. Um, I, I could be intelligent. I could also be funny. I could, you know, be ratchet, as the, as the, as the kids are calling it these days. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> I, I, I could do, I, you know, I could do a lot. So uh, I, I got on a show called The Takeover. Shout out to The Takeover at Brooklyn College. And what I was doing there was just I was being a co-host. Shout out to Robin Jane, and the whole Takeover fan. But it really stemmed from there in 2011. And then I was on a couple of other shows. I got a shout out to the Josie Marie show. Uh, I, you know, we, we work in some kinks out, but it, that really honed my passion because I'm a music head. I love, I love hip hop. I love the culture. Always and been a huge music it, head. For yeah, as long as I've a, known nice. Jay Lorenzo, he's been music, music, music all through college. Heavy, heavy. heavy. You know what's mad weird? I'm looking through Instagram right now. You was at the Assad party. I was like right behind you. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was literally right behind you. Like where you Get took that out picture. Of here. That's weird as hell. All right. Yo, t- tag yourself, and then I, I follow. That's how we do it. We gonna follow. Word. You know. I got right. So <laughs> you know, but all like you know, ever, ever since then, um, and really incorporating music with, with 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 the funny stuff, with the intellectual stuff. I mean, radio is really my passion. I feel like it's my calling, and you know. You know, maybe the powers that be, they didn't want me to do comedy on stage at a level like that. But, you know, I'm definitely hitting people over the head yeah. with, with, with all kind of stuff. Are you going to go back on stage anytime soon, though? You going to try it back Man, out? Man, you know what? I mean, it, it, you know, some, sometimes I get the, the inclination to, to, to try again. Because, you know, I like, I'm making no mistake. I am funny. I was funny on stage. But, you know, it just felt like a job. And um, I feel like anything. <laughs> uh, you, I mean, now I, I got I to gotta show up on time. You know, I can't come in when I want. You know, I, it, it really, it really, you know, stifled my, my creative flow. So I, I feel like if the time is right and I, and I ever get the itch to do it again, I'll definitely do it. But it, it got to be right. I, I got to creatively be in the right space. Like, yeah. it, it take a lot. It take a lot. Definitely does, especially especially going to an all black um university. Man, me and me and Jamea now, had a lot of fun there. You know, we had man. <laughs> first, 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 all right, first of all, when I met you, I had never met any person in real life from Mount Vernon, and uh, I, you know, y'all, man, y'all y'all turned up. And shout out to, to to the to the Mount Vernon family that did go to Lincoln. Like y'all did not play around. You know, when you think of Brooklyn, you know, it's like, oh, that's the end all be all. I thought that if I say yo, I'm from Brooklyn, people are back down. But these Mount Vernon cats, man, <laughs> man, yep. y'all shit. And you know what I'm talking? Y'all don't play freshman year. I ain't even gonna blow the spot up because we because we grow now. Huh? What he did? Blow his spot up. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Man, okay, yo, Cram, <laughs> Cram was in the quad, and uh, you know he had got attacked. He had long story short. I make long story short. Okay. He had got attacked by 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 a guy, 
And um and we mind you, we all lived on the same in the same building in the same floor and he got attacked by you know, by a gentleman. And um <laughs> usually after after you get jumped, like it's kinda like, Okay, I'm I'm just going either I'm a see him or I'm a I'm a you know, I'm done. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna let him have it. Okay. Yo, Cram assembled up the church from Mount Vernon, man, and, and when the wolves came out, <laughs> the wolves was out, and yeah. they saw that man at his door. Wow. And That's I, typical I didn't Cram, see anything. Though. Right. I didn't see anything, but when I when I walked outside, it was it, it looked it looked like Law and Order S V U. Wow. It was crazy. But that just show, goes to show you that, you know, you you know, they, they were they were tight, they traveled in packs and um you know, just good dudes, though. Otherwise, we had mad fun, man. That's but what's up. After, I, I never cross cram. Never. <laughs> That's my man. Yeah, I, I let you blow. I let you blow him up because he walked out for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It, it don't matter. It don't matter. That's all right. Keep it in. Keep it. Leave, leave, who, leave that. Leave that part. Going back to you though, who was your favorite person to interview? Like, which what person really inspired you to just keep going? Really inspired me. Um. I mean, I, I, I got a few. I got a few. Definitely uh, Olympic gold medalist swimmer Cullen Jones. Cullen Jones is, is a dude from New Jersey, black dude. One of the only, one of the few black people I essentially know can swim. Like, I, you, you know, essentially. <laughs> like, they don't know how to flow. He don't know how to fl- just yeah. flow. You know, he knows how to swim. I can swim yeah. too, though. Can you? I can. Yeah, I see this. Like Cullen Jones. I was in I was in varsity swimming for two months. <laughs> two months. I was on the varsity <laughs> swim team for two months. That's the most. That's so brief. Months? Yeah. Why? Because I didn't feel like wearing those. I, I wear swim Speedos. trunks, and they wanted me to wear the speedos, and I wasn't life. with it. I wasn't really okay. with it. Okay. I'm, uh, you know what? I respect that. I respect that. Yeah. You can't be a gangster in swim trunks. You can't do that. I, I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. You can't do kidding. it. No. No, but that you know that was a dude that definitely inspired me because he wasn't just talking about you know the accolades that he had, but he was really trying to save people. Yeah. Um, you know, young kids out here who was drowning, so I had to you know that definitely inspired me. And when you when you get to the caliber like that, you talk, you're talking an Olympic gold medalist. I mean, like that 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 shit is really crazy. It just kept, it kept me pushing and kept kept me going. Um, I would say another person definitely Charlie Wilson. Uncle Charlie, that's my man's right there. Oh yeah, that boy's is crazy. That's yeah. my guy, right? I was just so, wa- um, I was just watching that interview too. And, and you know, you know, the, the crazy thing is, like, I wasn't even supposed to interview him. My intentions were to interview him, but I wasn't supposed to. It, it just showed you how the universe is crazy. Like, I was telling him, trying to tell him about a promotion that we were doing for his concert, and he was like, "Look, you ain't got it on paper. You might as well just do it with me." Yeah. I was like, Uncle Charlie, shit. You ain't got to tell me nothing else. Uh-huh. We sat down. I put on the camera. And, uh, you know, we talked about his promotion. And then I was like, yo, before you leave, man, we got to sing. Because you Uncle Charlie. <laughs> and shit. What, what else? Like, I, I'm putting this on the gram. Like, this Hell is going yeah. on the gram. So, uh, you know, you know, me, Uncle Charlie, we, we, we sang a couple of, couple of bars. He taught me a few pointers. I taught him a few pointers. And, uh, you know, we, 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 we move forward like that. So he was definitely another one. Uh, my, my last one, um, I would say, you know what? I'm a, <laughs> I, I interviewed, uh, a porn star, Roxy Reynolds. Oh, really? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I interviewed porn star Roxy Reynolds, but when you say "oh, really," like <laughs> you, you, you got to understand, like it, it was, a, it was a phone interview, right? Okay. And my girl was there. Oh, oh that's shit. awkward. My girl, my girl was right next to me, <laughs> and it was one of the most awkward, most awful <laughs> interviews that I've ever what, done. What were like the topics of discussion for that? Right, exactly. So I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to be. You know, real like smooth and not let her know that Roxy Reynolds is on the line. So I'm like, mm. you know, you know, you know when you do the mm, when you're not really listening to your girl. Yeah, like, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, word. So I'm doing that and it's mad awkward. But even though it was terrible, like that just that just let me know that uh, <laughs> that was the bottom. That was the bottom. 
But, and you know, I can only go up from there. So shout out to everybody I interviewed, all three of those people. <laughs> you know, Roxy Reynolds is a trip, though. She was talking some wild shit that I couldn't even, I couldn't say nothing. Damn. Just, <laughs> Yo, I speak- couldn't say nothing, man. That shit's crazy. <laughs> crazy shit, man. You know, but that's life, you know? Hell yeah. Yo, speaking of interviews, like, how was the Hot 97 thing off today with Mob Deep and everything? How was that? Okay. Like, all right. So, so just to put y'all on, I just, I just, my company, WBLS and, uh, and, um, Hot 97, we just merged. Yeah. Uh, as I far heard as, that. yeah, as, right. Our, our companies are under the same parent company. So now I'm doing work for both BLS and Hot 97. Nice. So, my heart and passion is in classic soul, but it's also in hip hop. Like they go hand in hand to me. So, um, I got to sit in and meet Mob Deep today. Like it, it was crazy. Mob Deep got a new album out. It's called The Infamous Mob Deep. Everybody should go buy it because that's you know they hip hop legends, man. Yeah, hell yeah. And, and um, yeah, you know they 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 legendary and they still doing it at a high level. So, you know we we got to interview with them today. Um, I got to sit in with, with Rosenberg, and one thing I got to say about Hot 97 is that if you really, it, it, it's it's hard to say on the outside looking in, you know, what what is and what's not, but these guys really care about the culture of hip-hop, and it's like, like, they got, they be having me speechless about some of the information and stories that they be bringing up during the interviews. It's, it's some deep shit, real yeah. talk, so. It's Bobby history. It's different. like they're making history, history. every day. Yeah, they're super passionate about every that. Every day. And and that, you know, this is the world, and that, that's like the worldwide brand for hip-hop, and I'm there every day, and it, it, it's so surreal. So that's I got to shout out to everybody at Hot 97, yeah. man. One last question. One last question. Yeah. What are you doing right now that you're excited about? What you, what you looking forward to? Man, Okay. Uh, a lot of stuff. First of all, uh, I just entered a contest. I'm not, I'm not, you know, pray for me. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. Pray right. for me. All right? There's a contest that uh, SOBs uh, in New York is holding um, for hip-hop hosts. Like, okay. they want people to host their showcases. So I just submitted a video today, actually two videos, one with uh, the legendary DJ Enough and the other one with the amazingly legendary uh dj red alert so i'm crossing my fingers um that that they'll they'll see my video and be like you know what we we, we need him a part of our team so that i'm definitely working on i'm also working on two radio shows in the works um right nice. now two internet shows and nice. i just submitted my my stuff for serious xm so I'm crossing my fingers, I'm crossing my toes, my eyes, all that <laughs> for all these opportunities because, you know, uh, hey, this is all I know how to do. I can't be a teacher. I can't be a truck driver. I can't be a lawyer. <laughs> like, this shit is the only shit that I know how to do, and I feel like I'm blessed to have the, these opportunities. That's cool. And, um, like, pray that I get on serious because we're going to do this again, and I'm going to have y'all on my show. And um, we're going to yeah. we toast to the good life, man. Yeah, we're we proud. You already know. We're moving up right with you. Hell yeah. Hey, you know, like, each one, we, we got we to gotta move together, man. Like, Stay I got up. y'all back just like y'all got mine. And That's what's up. I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate y'all interviewing me. You know, being on the receiving end of an interview, it, feel, it feels nice. <laughs> I, you know, I don't get this opportunity <laughs> a lot, so I thank y'all. No That's what's doubt. up. Thank you. That's we thank up. you, though. Nah, man, nah. And any 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 time that y'all y'all need me, man, I'm here. Um, I'm gonna try to make it up to Mount Vernon next time. I just got backed up at work, so yeah. if not, we can do the phone, we can do the Skype. But I'm always here, and uh, I got to shout out Dformalities. dot com, baby. Oh yeah, thank you. What? Let the people know where they could where they could find you at. Where they where they get all your information. Man, like y'all can follow me. My website is in development right now, so right now y'all can hit me up. I'm not ashamed. I got all my my pages unblocked, unprivate, and yes, I post pictures of my girl. So don't try to do no crazy <laughs> shit because I don't want to hear her mouth. All right, so I'm at J underscore Lorenzo one, the number one 
at Twitter and Instagram. And even if you want to hit me up on Facebook, I'm at Jameer Pond, J-A-M-E-E-R-P-O-N-D. And um, we give it to you straight, no chaser, for real. Like, and you know, Cram, I fuck with you ha- heavy. <laughs> And you my nans. You was my nans. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. He, he's <laughs> you know? outside. He's trying, to get, he's trying to get a new car right now. Talking to you, you said, yeah. you said. He, Cram is trying happened? to get a new car right now. So he's not in the oh, building. Wait for, for a second. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so okay. dude just came over here. He's trying to get the car and all this other shit. Okay. You know all how right, Cram well, is. Cram don't know. give a fuck. He don't give a he fuck. He don't give a fuck. He just left. No holds barred. He just left. He just set up the call and left. He put his hand up like, yo, hold up. That's some fuck shit, but I love Cram <laughs> either way. And uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, anytime y'all need me, man, I'm here. And uh, again, shout out to D for Maladies dot com, baby. Right, we man. working out here. Hell working yeah, you, yeah, much appreciated, homie. Good looking out. Hey, keep no in touch, time, man. I absolutely will, man. Like we gonna follow each other, and you know, I'm gonna always keep in touch. I'm write stupid shit under y'all posts because <laughs> that's what I do. But it's all love. It's always gonna be love, man. That's Likewise, hell yeah. All right, man. Peace. Peace, peace, man. homie. All right. Oh my God. See, the truth is, they just want to know how close me saying go juice is And who the group is, now the show on the road, money I don't know what to do with See, the truth is, you about to hurt yourself, I don't always tell the truth So what if you did? I'ma be there in a minute, I'ma need to see some proof I ain't seen in a minute I ain't seen in a minute, I've been playing by the rules I ain't seen in a minute I ain't seen in a minute A two Heard you got a man, is that true? But I'd rather fuck with you, is that cool? They always come back if they pass due now you here to stay a statue Now you here today It's kinda weird today, I left you Now you here today, it's kinda weird cause they Let everybody go except who Let everybody know except two Nothing less than the truth, even when I'm lying One hand on the Bible Don't be afraid to get old, man. You may learn some shit. You may know some shit. You may see some shit. (laughs) Bitch told me I was old. I had to tell her. You could go to any hood. Bet they know me. Rose gold, pinky ring. Master Rolling. Boy, use a little nigga. Garrett Coleman. I be calling all the shots. Big homie.
Eyes are playing tricks on me, man. Ass tripping. I got this pretty brown queen of kids addicted to chicken nuggets. She used to play college ball. I'm just trying to ball. I'm trying to sit on lever till my time is called. When it is, fuck it, it's been a wild ride Since 95 with the jeans set Back on the scene fresh Beamers that lean left I'm on the fucking roof doing squats Ain't no boots in the box Just some dead white man and his clock The side is cock-eyed Doing 360s in front of Popeyes Nobody could control me A lot tried, but then I ate ribs Fuck, I hate myself, this shit is banging No, Shoot the pistol, bite the mango Alpha Tango, Bravo Alejandro Jodorowsky flow Two accidents in a year and I survived them, no This that my best man died and I revived him flow Young God, God body, move your body flow The black rose that rose out of the asphalt Probably find a filet mignon in my trash talk Fronting on the back blocks with a black block I never let the Mac pop like a laptop Or lipstick, asshole, dipshit, cold-hearted Mommy move her body on my big stick Religious rhetoric, spiritual in the windows Monetary monster, money blowing in the window oh Peeking out my mental window, endo burning strong Circa 1987, crease your birth to dawn uh, Jesus Christ, I'm such a pompous pilot Catch you in the crosshairs, then wash my hands in silence I still think about prospect from time to time A lot of my guys did time Cry to God this time Just take it with a grain of salt Like a margarita Alien homo sapien It's nice to meet you
Hashtag Mark is a fuckboy. Here we go with this shit again. Fuck that dude. What happened? You got a car now? <laughs> no, nah, um, I just, I was going, excuse me, excuse my unprofessionalism. Uh huh. Ness. But, um, I was. Jameer said you're a fuckboy. He didn't. Those, that, those are words from you. Yes. But, um, but I'm, I'm speaking through him. <laughs> he was, he had jokes on you, yo, cracking. Yo, he's no. Jameer, Jameer's like, a good guy, man. Hilarious kid. When I met him, He's an Aries too. When I met him, it was just you know, cool. But nah, I was just outside checking out this BMW. And what happened? Everything checked out cool. I'm gonna um. Did you buy it? Did you buy it? Nah, I didn't buy it. Did you buy it? Nah, I didn't buy it just yet. (laughs) What? But um. Put that under this brick. (laughs) Heater on. Heater. That heat. Bring the fuego. But um, yeah. Just checking it out. I might be pushing that in two weeks. Okay. You happy? Yeah, I'm feeling kind of good. Nice. This show is important, you know. I apologize. I told you before you're, you're we were building started. an audience. People are here to hear you, and you and you leave in the middle of a fucking interview at that. I apologize. Yo, there was like some I, car on the street, like beeping, so like about to get the accident. I was like, yo, that's Cram. <laughs> nah, the door. And then Cram comes back. Yo, I just came off the block. Yo, I'm right <laughs> around the corner. I, like, I went to Tamara. I went to Tamara's house. All right. All right. So. Sure. So, um, random topic, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, do you hear this guy? What? We need a random topic. Yeah, Chris, right. give me a random topic. Hey, yo, it's career day. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it is career day. Wait, wait, wait. Say, 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 say it like It was like it. a black Twitter tweet. <laughs> it's this guy. He says, my son's having career day tomorrow. I can't wait to go pass out these mixtapes. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. To- that was funny. Oh man! Another That's one. Good. They said Kanye be performing on stage like he's about to slap Northwest with the belt. Did you hear about Kanye and um, Kim Kardashian? Is what this news? Are we this, getting into news? No. Well, this is rumor. I don't know how if it's true, if it's true or not. But all right. So this is the thing. Of, right. Um, allegedly, Chris Brown and um, Kim Kardashian used to date or mess. That doesn't in, make sense. Sometime in the past. That does not make they, sense. No. Listen. It was. It was something about like. Um, a video or a uh-huh. meeting of some sort, like there was interest between the two, yeah, but bit like business wise, and um, Kanye never knew, and like uh-huh. I'm, I'm assuming Kanye has this kind of this bullshit, all this, all this, all this shit, you know, all this crazy. shit that you're saying is is media. Just bullshit. listen, I heard it on Cherry Cherry Juice. What's that? That just sounds Angie, crazy. Angie yeah. Martinez, Cherry Juice. That so listen, stupid. listen. So this, <laughs> I told you it's Cherry a Cherry Martinez. It's a fucking rumor. Can you give me a break? Damn. Right, so what happened I don't want to clear rumors on here. Because so we're, we're not clearing. We don't, we're not gossip. I am so not Perez Hill. Is this not a random though? topic or nah? Or nah. That's we, a random topic, but what happened with the Chris yeah, what happened? What happened? All right, what happened? So um, Kanye threatened to, do, um, to, to call off the wedding if um, these allegations are true. That's not true. For real? Yeah, it's a rumor. What, what do you... What, People, they were on Vogue. Tweet this guy and tell me. I Vogue seen the Vogue. Vogue. And they were on just Vogue tweeted, last I week. I love my family and, yesterday. <laughs> they're on Vogue last week, and now Chris Brown all of a sudden dates has dated Kim Kardashian. Yo, Get speaking of Chris of Brown, yo, his new video. I saw Lil Wayne. He was wearing These my Supreme hoes hoodie. Ain't loyal. He made that hoodie look like shit. Hold on, wait, wait. Speaking of Lil Wayne, I was and the like, yo, shit. that is whack. Young God, what's his name? YG. No, no, no not YG. Who? There's um, there's a guy out. Wearing young fucking le- young thug wearing a fucking young leopard thug. children's 
um, baby girl, that little Wayne, girl, see that, that dress, little Wayne. He's wearing a dress. <laughs> he started that. He's shit. wearing a dress, a full fucking Bullshit. dress, yeah, a full that. dress. Oh, look it up. It's, it's like a it's like a it's a, it's a, um, a little girl's dress. It was leopard, and he wouldn't even he wouldn't even um fucking tell the name where he got the store like the store where he got. He said, "Nah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna give you a children's that. place." I wouldn't but either. He, but he's fucking. But he's saying like, he's saying like, yeah, y'all niggas ain't up on that shit. Yeah, that's if yeah, I, I had an interview. This, if I was an artist and I was shit. wearing some dope shit, I would I not tell you where I got it's that. It's not dope. It's a it's, it's a, a dress. dress. You know what I mean? Like it's in general, tutu. he thinks it's Is it dope. Tutu? Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying. It, it might as well be a fucking tutu. Got it from ch- the children's place. It, it, it like it came flat and like towards the bottom it was like wavy, like a tutu. It's a tutu. And he he said that shit with no <laughs> fucking problem. It was just like I'm a stoner. It. I'm a stoner. Yeah, that's the song. I'm a stoner. Danny Glover. Damn, you made me forget Danny, what I was Danny gonna Glover. say. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. You made me forget what I was gonna say. What were forget. we talking about? Kanye. Tutus, Little Wayne, Supreme hoodies. It looks like shit on Little Wayne. Tutus. Yo, I was so mad. He was wearing a hoodie. I was like, yo, he looks like shit How right now. How do remember what we were talking about? He looks about. like he had Young Thug's pants on, but cut to shorts with the hoodie <laughs> on and like a fucking truck fit hat. I was like, yo, yo this did you is see, corny. Yo, did you see Lil Wayne's the front of his fucking head? He needs to cut his dreads off. Nah, I didn't buy one. They're gone. His he has a fucking. He has a fucking, no, his hairline is fine. But the dreads, they aren't there. It's like a fucking afro. And then what? like, they're like, they're like, you know. It's not dreading no more? No, there's no dreads in the front of his head. Like he's been wow. twisting them shits off him. Popped them off. You know what I'm well, he went to jail, so he couldn't like get it retwisted. You know what no, I mean? he needs to let it go. That Everybody else cut ago. their dreads like off. Five years ago, fuck yeah, but T Pain yeah, cut his up. cut their dreads. Busta Busta um, Bust Rhymes cut his dreads. You, yo, did you dude see the interview with T Pain when he's talking about Kanye made a diss track about him in the studio? Did you see that interview? No, uh, yo, that interview. classic. This dude sitting there, he got a little sippy cup, and he's just like, yo, a sippy cup. He's like, yo. They made, like, Kanye, he's like, he used to make fun of me. He's like, he he was in the studio with a bunch of super producers. Like, he's just telling a story. He's like, he's lying. He's like, I'm in the studio with Kanye, Timberland, Mike Dean, fucking, uh, what's his name? The old dude with the beard. He didn't drop Mike Dean's name, did he? He really what's, did? What's the dude with the beard? Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin. He's like, all of them, they're like superpowers. They're all in the studio. Some he's like, bullshit. and Kanye made a song. Yeah. Using auto tune that was like metaphorically making fun of me and saying my sh- music was shit. The DJ he was Khaled like, song? he was like, all them niggas were singing a song in unison. The DJ Khaled song. <laughs> he's like, yo, he's like, yo, that was the most depressing moment of my life. That's crazy. He's like, all the best like superstar producers are just saying your song sucks in your auto tune voice, singing it together. <laughs> yo, you gotta see that interview, yo. It was so yeah. fucking funny. I want to accuse him like, he, he wanted to cry. You could just tell in the interview he wanted to cry. Like, That's they were just bullshit. Kanye, like, either this we'll career in the studio. I'll peep it. If you, you have that to... video, send it to us on Twitter. <clears throat> you guys made me forget what I was going to say. If it's important, it'll come back, bro. Don't don't sweat. What were we know. talking about? We was talking about Lil Wayne. Where did we start? Young, Young Kanye. Thug, Kanye. Leopard, Vogue. Like, Chris Brown. Irrelevant news. Chris Brown. I forgot. All right. Let's get into the news. Newsman. Newsman. I love that word. <laughs> What's the news, Graham? You said you had the news. I don't have fucking news. You, you just said news. I have the news. Do you know what the fuck I do all week for this show? Yeah, 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 what did yeah, I ask yeah. of you? What did you do? What do did you do? You want Graham. A what the fuck? What kind of have show you is done this? for me lately, Clemps? What really? have you done for me lately? Really? What have you done for me lately? <laughs> You don't even know where that's from. Yes, I, I don't. Nah. Eddie Murphy. Delirious. I, I don't even watch his movies like that, honestly. You're fucking corny. Can we get some get, news, get please? Get this motherfucker. Can we get some news? All right, news just in. Um, you got your car. That's no, not no. fucking news. Beamer. Go ahead. Soldier Boy got a track out. Yeah. Right? Is he in jail? When he says. Soldier Boy's not in jail. He already came out. He He's says, not in jail. He never went. Yeah, he says something, something. That's my nigga. I fuck him all the time. Wait, what? I want to see if I can find What song him. is this? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, he's wild, He's wilding out. Let me see if I can put it in a Google search and um, see what comes up. But in other news, um, they on uh, going back to the previous episode, yeah. the Malaysian airplane. They found it. They found pieces. Pieces, like 300 fucking shiny pieces. And they're, they're showing these pictures on the news, right? 
and it's like fucking specs. It's like someone just stabbed on like a stabbed a paper, piece of paper <laughs> with a pen, and it's like, what the fuck are we looking at? Yeah. And they're like, this Damn. over three hundred pieces of um, um, shiny material. Where? Over wherever. I don't fucking know. So, so they're going crazy or whatever, doing that shit. Yeah. Um, Obama is now with the Ukraine. Um, he's mayor like or talking with Pope them, yeah, or whatever. So they're um, you know, giving aid or whatever to the with the crisis over there in um Ukraine. Yo, you heard about uh, Kim dot com's new like internet political party? What, are you no. about? what? I fuck with that. What, what is going Say it on? Again. Say it again. Kim dot com. He started Kim? some like company. It's a two hundred. I think two hundred and one million. Two hundred and ten million dollar company. And like, it's a secure web browser slash whole bunch. It's like a yeah. bunch Who's of Kim? other things where basically the government oh, can't trace you. Like the dude who had mega upload. Yeah, yeah, Kim dot com. Yeah. But yeah, um, he like he started his own internet political party. He's about to start his own encryption like currency online, like crazy like shit. Like Bitcoin, and he could do it too. Something like that. I feel like his is gonna be legit though, because he's the one with the money. He can invest all that shit and get the funding. He knows what's good. I look into that. He already got shut about. down, so he knows this time around he gotta come correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Today the IRS marked Bitcoin as property. What up? That's oh, they're gonna so tax today, it. They're gonna yeah, tax today, the shit out of that. Yeah, well, not today. Like within the last two days, they. Mark Bitcoin but they as lost, property, which means they lose they can, all the bitcoins. Mount some of them. Yeah, Mount Gox. Mount Gox is like where people go and like hold their bitcoins. Yeah, it's like a bank for bitcoins. And yeah, I no. guess somebody misplaced, quote unquote, misplaced. They took the all shit. Bitcoins. Somebody bitcoins. dipped. That's, but those are the the bitcoins from fucking um Silk Road. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Silk, you, you can only pay for stuff on. Silk I was Road. on Silk Road. I've seen yeah. some shit. Bro. Yeah, got yeah, that hair on. I had the yo. I had my fucking. I had my. I had my computer all hooked up like, the fucking um. The tour browser. The tour browser, all that shit. I had my shit anonymous. Yeah. I was wow. on it, but I ain't buy shit because I was scared. I was like, who the fuck gonna mail yeah, shit to my crib? But I was definitely on there. How to get to Silk Road? That's crazy. That's funny. As I shit. know a couple homies who had a bunch of bitcoins and like they got their shits beat. Yeah, you, you know, like you could get your shits hacked. Like your entire wallet can get stolen like yeah. easily. Right. It's corny. All right. In How other do you news, protect that? In other news, an 18 year old from no- yeah, 18 year old from Norway now has a McDonald's receipt tattooed on his right arm. What? I don't what? get that. I saw that. I was like, I'm not even gonna click that. That's just <laughs> what is that on? Is, what? Said his friends wanted to punish him for being too active with the ladies. <laughs> a full receipt. Yep. Yeah. Do you, it's do you entirely a- unclear what that means, but his friends gave him the option of getting a a Barbie tattooed on his butt. Or his Barbie fast food day. purchase on Yo, his Yo, OD eye. got Barbie. Hell yeah. I got a bad bitch on my ass. What? <laughs> Straight Let up. Me, can, can you but show me pick, the he ha- Huh? Can you show me the picture? Yeah. How often do people see your butt cheeks? Like He got a Coke, a che- three cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. He <laughs> got... Cheeseburgers. Oh, that's the... You're reading yeah, the receipt. he got the words got the and receipt. the big M on the top. Let he got see. a Coke. It looks like one of those like religious read it. songs. If you can, if you can read, wait. Let me turn. You it ever see way. how dudes get the tattoos of like prayers on yeah, their? Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like a one prayer, of those. <laughs> but it's the McDonald's <laughs> shit. Digits and shit. Oh, he's a yo. Fucking... He should have just got Barbie on his ass. Like, why did he do that? He's an idiot. That's a bet. That's a hard bet. That's right a retarded there. bet. Like, read, read. He what better he bought, get free right? food whenever he goes to McDonald's for that. All right. Well, he got he got a um a cola cheeseburger. It's just so stupid, yo. It pisses me off. A looking three at this bear, shit. a three, three bar something. Happy cheese. You got, I guess it's a Happy Meal. Happy Meal. So Where's dumb. this at? Because the numbers are it's in cool. Norway. It's Norway. It's in Norway. It's in Norway. So, so the prices ain't the same. Yeah, they're not thirty five dollars. <laughs> it's different currency. Yeah, the, the total was one hundred and forty three dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. Dollars, it's but. fucking three cheeseburgers for thirty six dollars. Whatever the case is, he got a um, non stop flurry. McFlurry? Extra, yeah, a leak. Uh, extra, um, extra old boy topping, what? extra dame topping, extra fourth topping, bear oats, happy cheese, three bear oats, cheeseburger, have to and, kill a, me. and a .5 cola. And they got the whole number, the time, and when it's happened, the date. Why would you do that? This. Why would is you do that? Sick. I don't even want to talk about it. It's just and like, that's on. And take and look. Talk. You can, I, I, like, I would have been like, yo, yo that, guys, can I just get the McDonald's logo or something? Like. Why would you get the whole receipt? That's like... Yeah, I would have got Barbie on my ass. Oh yeah. I would have got her butt ass naked and you had to make her look cute. You had to yeah. make her look mad sexy. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
That's yep. that's fucking punishment. I and you got even, that shit on your fucking have forearm. On life. I on have your no forearm. input on this whatsoever. There's no cover up for that. <laughs> what do you tell your mom about this situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's cool. Yo, it, but it's it's nah. really it's really written up good though. Whoever did it has a good hand. It's a good that tap. Because that's that's straight free hand. There's no stenciling for that. That's nah, he stenciled that. He's you can stencil. For. You can stencil the receipt. But why? Why would you? This is it's <laughs> so it's small. The detailing is so small. You have to do that for you. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. <clears throat> a nonstop flurry. Yeah, Yo, you know crazy. what's mad funny? That little beat, Kevin Durant shit. The beef. What's up? Have with you the seen beef? the beef with Kevin Durant, little B? Oh yeah, little B called out Kevin Durant. Yeah, he got a little Durant, oh, yeah? Kevin Durant diss song, and yo, Kevin Durant is like, who the hell is the bass god? What? And little B tweeted, oh, he Are pulled up tweets from that? Kevin Durant tweeting about little B doing the cooking dance like a year before that. After he was like, yo, who the hell is little B? Like he lied to the media. Right, he lied. Gotcha, bitch. And you go gotcha, on, bitch. if you go on ESPN, like there's a three second commercial. You see little B, he's like. KD, I'm coming for you. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> it's like a little clip. It's mad funny, yo. That's crazy. Little B's winning right now. You got any news, Cram? Any more news? Did you find out the... Um... This dude's on World Star. So, clearly in Madrid, there's something going on in Madrid right now. <laughs> what is it? Cram doesn't even fucking know. 70 plus understand. cops are injured during angry ocu- um, Occupy. Did y'all hear about protests. the clown? Fuck that. Did y'all hear about the clown in Staten Island? No. Oh yeah. Nah, what happened with that? What happened with that? Oh wait, hold up. News, 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 news. They they um they got new details on the um the Avante, um the kid missing, the missing kid oh, in yeah. Queens. No. They have new details on it. Determined it might be some kind. Wait, of, what's the story behind that? Tell me. Just Probably some, the clown. I'm telling you. KJ, I mean, <laughs> Clem, shut the fuck up. Listen, all right, so this kid Avante from Queens, um, he's a he's autistic kid. He's about 14, 13, 14. Yeah. And he um he ran out the school. You don't know who Avante is? He was nah. all over New York. He was all over the... I'm in Connecticut, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know this man. Yeah, so Damn he, it. So he, yeah, he ran out of like, the school. He was missing for days, yeah. months. Months. And, um, and somewhere in Long, um, somewhere in Queens, in like, Queens. Just, like probably a couple miles down from his school, they found body parts. Yeah, his body parts. Oh, by the water, water, right? Okay, yeah, I remember yeah, hearing water. that. I didn't back know that was the dude's house. name. It was, it, was, it was a lot of drama, but it's back in the news right now. And um, what? they got they said it's a new new um new development. That's some shit. I didn't yeah. read into it, but come on, how are you gonna just make that statement? There's this clown in Staten Island. A mysterious clown has been roaming the streets of Staten Island and freaking out local residents. Staten Islanders have been posting pictures and videos on social media of a person dressed up like a clown wearing a yellow outfit, red shoes, and a mask while holding balloons and waving to cameras. Fuck. This is some real shit. The clown has been spotted. They got photos of him or not? Yeah. At night near the Richmond Valley and Glassmere train stations in front of a Chinese restaurant during the day on Richmond Avenue, according to the advance and online posts. Let me see the picture real quick. The picture of the clown? Yeah. I think Ivan has it as a phone. No, he has something else. But yeah. Oh, here you go. Right here. It looks creepy as fuck and the nigga is just walking around in the streets and shit. That's dope. <laughs> hold up, hold up. This week's science. Like real we, life check it. this shit out. It's real life it, yeah. Check this shit out. More interested in a fucking clown. Oh, God. Researchers can now create now an accurate uh-huh. mugshot yeah. just using your DNA. That's, that's a impressive. full facial fucking mugshot just using a strand, a strand of your hair. That's, that's crazy. A, that's crazy. That doesn't make sense. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's here. It's, it's some side effects. Hair. That's like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, peep this. Scientists develop methods to generate stem cells just from a single drop of blood. Oh, I heard about that. Yo, science is fucking great. That, yeah. yeah, even though it has to deal with chemicals. That's not a chemical. That's a bodily fluid. Wait, what? No, it's not. How is it confirmed? How so? First direct, hold up. First direct South evidence South of oh, the with Big the waves? Bang okay. and cosmic inflation has been been discovered how does it trace back with the waves though like i don't get it the inflation like that those are the waves mm-hmm. they don't fucking know mm-hmm. you just let these people let you believe any oh, fucking thing hey listen to this um ast- this is the last one and then, and then we got to move on so astronomers <laughs> detect liquid- astronomers astronomers wow astronomers, <laughs> astronomers. <laughs> you I know you can tell this motherfucker's reading off the paper <laughs> right yeah oh that's a typo, that's a typo that's a typo 
Astronomers. <laughs> right. Astronomers. <laughs> it's, it's spelled wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you guys this in a second. Dude, fuck. So, astronomers, oh, right? Holy shit. Astronomers. Oh. They um, detect shit. liquid waves on Saturn's oh moon. What the fuck was that? Yo, yo, was that Nick Hansen? Oh my! Oh, never mind. I gotta put you on with Nick Hansen after this. Nick Hansen? Yeah. Yo, dropping loads. Listen, astronomers. Go ahead. What happened with the astronomers? Astronomers (laughs) detect liquid waves on the Saturn's moon, Titan. Okay. There might be life out there. Yo, did you see the there photo is, of like? There is. I, I hate to break it to you. There's life out there. Yeah. You've seen it. Yo, there's a photo. I don't have to see it of, to believe it. Nigga, there's a fucking photo of Mars, and you see a bunch of rocks, and yeah. next to one of the rocks, there's like a fucking squirrel just hiding. <laughs> it's the funniest <laughs> thing. Are you yo, serious? I gotta pull, pull up picture. the photo. Yo, it's Photoshop. Classic. Nah, it's like real. No, it's not. It's just a squirrel. They're like, yo, there's a ninja squirrel on Shut Mars. The fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, dude. Fucking stupid. All right, and move in movie news. No, no, we, we got to start with the I news. Talk about movies. We talked about movies already. What? what, 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 what we talked about movies. Let's get into submissions. You got mail. You got mail. Info. We got, a, we got a whole fucking info album. at theformalities dot com is the email. If you guys want to send us any music, any topics you want us to talk about, you want to tell us a story, whatever you want to do, you send it to info at theformalities dot com, and we'll get it to you. Just do the one with the album. I forget the name. Relax. First submission. Hey, my name is Andy Herzog, and I'm producing music. Congratulations. <laughs> Beef dick. and remixes. Your dick, Don't bro. read the whole thing. Don't read the whole thing, Why? please. It's, it's, I've already released two remix tapes. Little Bro Remix, Volume 1, in 2010, and Long Nights, Short Days, in 2012. I've recently finished... And release my third remix tape, Positive Energy. I'd like to know if you would be interested in reviewing the tape on your website. All right, here's the link. So, which I want to listen to? There's a bunch of shit. Let's see what's good. Just roll with it. It's a a remix tape. All right, I'll throw some names out there and you tell me if you want to hear it or not. Do eight. Good old world. Good old war. Good old war. Yeah, amazing eyes. Andy. Amazing Eyes. I don't see what... Amazing Eyes. Yeah, number eight. All right, Amazing Eyes by Good Old War, remixed by Andy Herzog. Herzog. Did you hear this already, Kyle? No. Okay. Speed it up. When I see you in the half light, it feels so fine. You picked the slowest wait, fucking wait, wait. song. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, man. wait. Hold on. He's he's a producer. He's re- okay. He's do, remixing um, these tracks. Dude, do, do, um, number ten, Ja Rule, clap back. Clap back. The clap back remix for Ja Rule. Yeah, let's hear his remix. This is a y'all hear this simple now. shit that you guys yeah, pointed out before with this. We gon' clap back, we gon' clap back, we gon' clap back. Let's dig it, come on! We gon' clap back, we gon' clap back, we gon' clap back. I'll play one more. I, I fuck with that one. Play Demi Lovato's nah, song. I'm playing Cash Cash It Out. Just nodded. I ride right with that Nina. You know no this is all his you know remix. This is hot. No I fuck with it. Can I huh? meet you? Cram, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to listen. I like the song. What you think about his remix, though? It was alright. I want to hear the Demi Lovato "Give Your Heart a Break." 
Demi Lovato, Give Your Heart a Break, remix by Andy Herzog. You heard this already? I know the song, but I want to hear the remix. Oh, where? I go to a lot of white bars. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what you just said? <laughs> I was like, those are just bars. I know. Wait, one last one, last one. Egyptian, Come on, cram. Egyptian overtime. This you is, like him? You should just download like, this whole. shit. I like Egyptian. I'm about to download this shit right here. No, this remix. Yo, shit. Andy, I'm downloading. I'm downloading your shit. This is Cram speaking. Cram fucks with you. Go ahead. Go. Which one you want me to play? Egyptian number two overtime. The Egyptian overtime. Yes. Right. Overtime. Yo, Lene is not feeling none of this shit. Not feeling none of this shit. FYI. Not a little bit. Oh, you could turn the shit I fuck with this one, though. I don't. I don't fuck with it. But you downloading the mix like that. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to put it on my computer just to have it. <laughs> what you think, Lenny? What oh, was, what did you, what is, why are you not fucking with it? That song? I don't I like don't that. Know. Not you, it's Lenny. It's just the sounds that I hear in the beat. Like, yeah, he's just, like, he's, he's, he's. Dissecting like the basic shit. It's just too basic. Like, it's like the sounds you get from the drum kits. You know what I'm talking about? The packages. Yeah. I don't hear nothing unique. I mean, I like the whole take on it. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah. you're not fucking with it. Nah. Just being honest. Alright. Um I'm what looking think? for what do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Honestly. I, I, I agree with you. It's it's very simple. I mean, but but that's how it's gonna progress, man. You, I mean, it's very that simple. That equipment is expensive. It's a lot. Oh, oh, fuck, like, give a nigga a you, break. You can get nah, logic. You can get the torrents for all the drum kits. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is on the internet, B. What is this? Are you gonna Are we gonna do this one? Because yeah, like, we're gonna do this one. It's very dark. This is, <laughs> this, is a, this should be up your fucking alley. This is, should be up your alley. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> yo, this should this definitely be emo. Like, yeah. emo. Play the first one too. Nah, that's that's the one. Um, yeah. This is from the court. How do you say that word? The courtesans. Courtesans. The courtesans. I'll fuck that up. Courtesans. 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 Dirty killer. So Dirty killer. Know. This is your shit. It's a bitch Dirty underwater killer. drowning right now. The bad Adam remix. Ooh. Dirty killer. The bad. Oh, the, this Adam. is from. This Ooh. is um. How you say his name? Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. Nah. <laughs> nah, don't worry about that. It's from the court. The courtesans. You're not going to say who Four piece live this? female alternative pop band from England, Ireland, Holland, and Poland. Tri- oh. Tri- tri- um, this trip is where they, it's, it's four girls. This is where they're, they're, one is from England, one is from Ireland, one is from Holland, and one is from Poland. Are metal, trip hop, is metal, trip, trip hop, industrial, Indu- and dubstep. I said industry. They got Facebook. Influences I can't read. They got a Facebook? FYI, just a PSA. I, uh, I'm having trouble reading. You can't read. <laughs> I text the they shit. Have, out um, their, their Twitter is the underscore courtesans. Underscore. Underscore. See, I don't even like underscores. I I, <clears throat> Wait, let me read. Let me read. Something. Hold on. That's it. That you're going on. That's it. Nah, they're telling me something else over here. Oh, what? Are you? The courtesans oh, on Facebook. Oh, okay, blow by blow. Light. Cena La Bella, as known all around London as a wild card. Sex and drugs and view on Facebook. <laughs> all right, so, play the first song. Okay. This is the Bad Adam remix to Dirty Killer by the Courtesans. Censored. What the fuck? I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I'm looking at their website right now. It's very dark. There's smoke on the sides. I see the girls. All right, play it. Come on. We should get them in here. What's good? I would like to listen to the to the regular song, not the remix, because it sounds weird. <laughs> I'm waiting for something like that to come. I'll skip through. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like metalish.
Yeah, man, what you think? Pretty dope. Look, you like this shit. It's different. Yo, we should get them on the show, though. Blondie looks good. What's yeah. good? San had La Bella, Safari Sanchez, Igna, Ig, Ignis Jones, Victoria Brown are the girls. And that is the courtesans. Word. It's pretty dope. Pretty dark. You fucking with it? I fuck with it. I didn't hear another track, though. You just fuck with the girls. You don't fuck with that. You said it. I didn't know what it meant, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but thank you guys for sending in your submissions. We getting oh. we getting the fuck out of here, man. It's been it's, it's been a running. minute. We've been here for a while. Four o'clock in the morning. Been out when I'm yawning. All right, so I'm Clemps. You can follow me on Twitter at Clemps. I'm Lenny Lene at Twitter at L E N A Y E E E Instagram. Same thing, same everything. Yep. I am Cram. Yeah. And you can find me on Twitter. I am underscore cram. I cannot change my fucking name. They won't allow me. Maybe you could do it from a different computer. My computer is acting like a bitch. But whatever. I am cram underscore. I am underscore cram on Twitter. On Facebook, I am cram underscore face. I might change it to I am cram to keep it all unison, whatever. But um, check me out. Yo, what? this is just a, like a word, like um, like a, how do you say, like an insp- inspirational quote of the day of the night okay um don't don't quote me for don't quote me on this but I, i'm just you know i'm talking from the top hurry up you know what you we gotta go it? we don't gotta go we gotta there. go gotta go all right listen <clears throat> just do really? it. really listen just do it you're you are a doer there's nothing in this you're world a doer. you can't do you're a doer i'm a doer Are you a doer? I'm a doer. Are you a fucking doer? I'm a doer. Just do it.